Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a few minutes. Today we're going to talk about the boundary decay factor that is used when initializing an unstructured domain. The boundary decay factor determines how far the dense edge clustering travels into the interior of the domain. The factor itself is a number between 0 and 1, the default value being 0 0.5. Let's jump right into an example. Here we have three identical domains, all with a hole in the middle. Note that the connector density is higher around the hole than it is around the outer edge. Perhaps you would like the density of the domain cells to fall off quickly with distance away from the inner hole edge. Select the domain, go up to the grid menu, choose Solve, click on the Attributes tab. Now go down to the bottom of the Attributes there and you can see Boundary Decay. Let's change that to zero. Go to Solve and push Initialize. Push OK. Note how the cell density falls off quickly as it moves away from the inside edge towards the interior of the domain. Now let's do the opposite. Perhaps you would like the density of the domain cells to continue far into the domain from the inner hole edge. Click on the domain, go to Grid, Solve, Click on the Attributes tab, scroll down to the bottom. Let's change that boundary decay factor to 1. Push Solve and click on Initialize. Whoa, look at that. Note that the inner edge density travels far into the interior of the domain. And that is the difference between a boundary decay value of 0 and a boundary decay value of 1. And right here in the middle is the default value of 0.5. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.